Yo guys, M here, and welcome to a brand new settlement build. Yes, I am back in the Commonwealth. And the main reason, actually, is that I have many settlements that I never quite finished, and none of them have actually been in videos, so I thought I might go back and revisit these and actually put them out as videos. Also, we have just had the Creation Club added to the Fallout, especially on the PlayStation 4. I believe it had been on PC for a little while. And obviously that brings the possibility of extras to the game to have a bit more life and obviously make some more interesting settlements but i'm not going to be talking about that one today i will try to put that into a separate video and today we're going to focus on this particular settlement build now we are here on the map and we are over towards the right hand side at norhagen beach which is uh, not far from Fort Strong and also very close to the airport, as you can see in the background. And, well, I have to admit, most of my settlement builds up to this point have been rather narcissistic, I will have to admit. I, uh, they have all been self-centered, they've all been about me, and I've really kicked out all the settlers and basically took them over just for myself and possibly dog meat. So, because of that, I've also made some settlements around the Commonwealth that are actually proper settlements. These are intended for people and, well, they're intended to be trading posts or markets and things like that. So this one here at Norhagen Beach is intended to be a fish market. Oh yes, we are next to the water after all. And before I get on to anything else, I have tried at this particular build to use some of the conduits. Now, I must admit, I did not really like them at all. Um, I'm sorry about that. I have tried, and I really did fail to, to create something very nice here. So as you can see, there is a little bit of a remnant here that is left, which connects through into the building. Um, the rest of the conduits I've actually removed. The, the reason being, the conduits not only used up the complexity here at the settlement, meaning that I couldn't place as many things as I wanted to, but also the emitters and things. It just, it didn't seem to be radiating electricity quite as nicely as uh, as putting down these particular connectors. I'm not sure why. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe I'll come back to have a look at the conduits again in a different build. But for now, I went back to cables and everything else, um, mostly for the complexity reason, because it makes it a bit... Uh, a bit easier uh, to connect things up and uh, saves on some of the complexity levels. So we are here and this is the main entrance way and all of my settlements tend to have some kind of protective barrier around them. And being that this is an actual settlement, I've also wanted it to be uh, nicely defended. So we have up on the roofs various different uh, pieces of equipment to protect the people. We also have a guard tower which gives a nice view out here of any uh, mutant creatures or raiders. And, well, you have an area here that people can take some shelter from the, uh, the Commonwealth, so to speak. So let's go through the, the main gates. And as you can see... This is called Norhagen Fish Market, and we'll come to that bit in just a moment. First, there's this building. Now, this particular settlement has this building, which uh, is rather annoying, and inside it has a number of items which you cannot move or delete, at least not on the PlayStation 4 without cheating. So because of that, well, I've had to build around this, which is why I've come so close up here to the road, is because I wanted to encompass this particular building. The other reason being the workbench is here right behind it and I wanted access to that without being eaten by some giant mutant creature. So over here we have the other half of the protective wall. You get a nice view out here. You can obviously uh, take pot shots at the raiders if they're having a go at you. And well... The buildings themselves, I have used a lot of the Far Harbour DLC for this one because it works uh, very nicely, I think, on this particular build. It uh, has this uh, weathered look and it just it's all wooden things and it really just works very well. So uh, I've used a lot of that DLC here. And also I can see that we have, uh, we have some food growing here. And um, guys, by the way, you're growing this in the trash. Um, yeah, n might not be the best place. Guys, hello? Oh well. Anyway, this is the main entrance way, and we're going to go there. We're not going to go up there first. We're going to go through here. This is uh, a walkway. I wanted this to be sort of an enclosed walkway. So, welcome to Norhagen Fish Market. It is open. Let's go through. And immediately, the very first thing I wanted was a lovely big wide open decked area. And I also wanted it to go out across the water, and we'll come to that in just a moment. 
And as you can see, I think the building structure and style of it actually works very well here. It certainly does fit quite nicely to a a, uh, a pier and uh, <clears throat> a harbour area. It actually just has a nice look and feel to the whole thing. I've used a lot of wood in this construction. I deliberately didn't want uh, concrete and things like that on this construction. I wanted all the woods to be more sort of... Uh, more... Uh, more organic, I suppose, than, than clinical, um, if you understand what I mean. Unfortunately, I could not find a set of stairs um, which I liked. So because of that, I've ended up using the metal one. And I actually think this might be the far higher set of stairs anyway. But uh, everything else, the railings and everything, is all made of wood because uh, I, I wanted that sort of feel to the to the whole settlement. I didn't want it to be, uh, I didn't want it to be concrete and things like that. So this is the main area. Before we go over there and have a look at that, and uh, something to notice, you do get a lovely view over there of the uh, airport, as you can see. Um, the first thing we'll have a look at is this building here, which has got double, big double doors on it. And this particular room is where the main power supply is located. There's also a number of workbenches, and you will also notice that this room is quite empty and bare. Um, Unfortunately, I have reached the complexity level on this settlement build, and the only way to extend it will be to do the glitch uh, by breaking things apart and uh, enabling myself to build more than I should potentially be able to build. And right now, I have decided not to do that. I've decided to uh, just let this settlement grow and build a little bit, and then at some point I may decide to expand it with a few extras that I might want. But... Um, there's a room here at the back which has not been used, and that leads up to that second floor, which we'll come back to in a little bit. But uh, you have this lovely wide open wood decked area, and um, I think it feels quite nice here. It certainly feels like a market. Um, we've got some fish drawing and some of the other props from the, the Far Harbour DLC. Um, there's an eating area and there's a relaxation area up here. There's also a number of stores dotted around. Um, there's also a food bar over there on that side, and we'll come to that one in a moment. And as you can see, the settlers are all just uh, relaxing and having fun. Um, you're having fun? Okay, not going to answer me, right? Um, and I've, I've also built a little beach here. I mean, it's not the... It's not the most golden beach, though, is it? I mean, it looks a bit contaminated, and it probably is. But uh, here we are with a little beach. I wanted something left. I didn't want it to be totally built over all of this, uh, all of the beach area without access to a little bit of it. And uh, as you can see, when you stand here, you get a lovely, lovely, lovely water lapping on a beach sound. And it's so therapeutic. And that was the main reason for building the uh, the pier out here across the water. And before we go any further, um, I noticed that there seems to be some kind of town meeting going on underneath. Um, yeah, the oddities of Fallout. I mean, if you play the game, you'll understand what I mean. Because uh, sometimes you can find people spawning on the roofs. And I, I don't understand why it spawns people where it does sometimes. But never mind. Um, I'm sure they'll correct themselves at some point. But we have this little beach here. And uh, up here, when you walk out here across here, you get this lovely sound of water. I really like that. I think it's very, 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 very soothing. And this is the bar where we got the food. Obviously, they need something to eat. Very important for the settlers. And I've also brought this one in. This is from the uh, the Vault DLC, which is the soda fountain. And um, this obviously brings happiness to the settlers because that's another thing that's important. Not just the food and water, but also happiness to make them happy. And I think we're just a little bit less... I'll just bring that up. I think we're just a little bit less than 80% uh, here at the moment. So um, a little bit of room for improvement, maybe. I need to work on that one. So this is the main open decked area. Um, quite nice at night as well. I've also put up uh, some of the glowing bottles from the Har Harbour. They actually work quite nicely. And over here, I actually forgot to say over here, we have uh, we have a little farm area for the Brahmin. Um, obviously, uh, you can put down the trough and they're going to stay there. So I thought, why not build him something? Well, assuming it is a him. I mean, it could be a her. I'm not entirely certain. It, it's an it. Let's call it it. And uh, let's go and have a look on the second floor. Um, I wanted two floors to this. I didn't just want one. I wanted two floors because I wanted a sort of area that felt enclosed a little bit, but also open at the same time. So that's why it's uh, not got walls on the side of it. It's um, just got these upright uh, supports. So let's go upstairs and... We have a further decked area decorated with lots of seating and things like that. We also have two more shops, one for weapons and one for armour. 
as you can see. And up here you get a, a great view over there of the airport and the uh, crashed and destroyed aircraft that uh, dotted around all over the place. So um, quite an impressive view and you get that lovely water sound as well. Quite, quite relaxing. There's the water machine over here, just to give them some water. I think that one's actually producing enough water for all of these residents. Um, and so you get a nice view out here as well over the uh, buildings. And the structures themselves, I think, work quite nicely. They uh, they have a nice look and feel to them. Um, and it works very nicely for me. I, I like it. So we also have, um, we have another exercise machine, an outside one here. This also gives happiness, so it's quite useful for settlers. Uh, another area to sit. And then let's go to the second floor up here. And, well, this is the floor that you've seen uh, from the other side. Um, it's got a few decorations in here. It's also got another workbench. Um, sorry, weight bench, not workbench. Uh, where you can obviously exercise. And uh, that also brings happiness to the settlers. And this door here was the one we saw earlier, which uh, takes you out along the walkway there. But uh, the very last thing to show you is, of course, one of the important things for the settlers is to give them somewhere to sleep. So in here we have a rather sparsely decorated rooms for for all of the settlers and uh, lots and lots and lots of beds and not sadly a lot else because uh, like I said I've reached the complexity on this settlement so I can't actually build that much without uh, doing the glitch and for now I haven't done the glitch so uh, for now I think it's going to be quite enough for this particular build so this is the Norhagen Fish Market. It's uh, it's working quite nicely. I'm earning a little bit of credits from some of the shops, and um, I really do like the look and feel of it. I think it actually works quite nicely to use the Far Harbour here. Um, and also you have that lovely sound effect of the water lapping against the beach. Um, and I think that works really nicely. Now, if I could only figure out why they're all meeting under there, um, maybe they're plotting against me as their leader. I do hope not. Anyway, you can't tell with these settlers, can you? But anyway, this was the North Hagen Beach, or Norhagen Beach, however you want to say it. And uh, it's the fish market here at Norhagen. So uh, that's the build I wanted to show you. And, well, I'll get on to some other builds shortly in a number of other videos. And, well, I'll show you some of the other settlement community builds that I've put together, dotted around the, uh, dotted around the com Commonwealth. So... <laughs> I'm not going to cause any trouble. I mean, uh, we're having a virtual conversation, and I'm doing a video, and um, my subscribers probably won't want you. Go, go away. It, oh, I don't know. Anyway, this was the Norhagen Fish Market, and, well, that's basically all I wanted to show you today. So thanks for watching, and I will see you again soon. Thank you. Now, um, where do you go? Oh, he's gone already. Oh, well, never mind. Oh, well, I, I'll just... Um, yeah, um, I think that's a wrap, guys. Guys, hello?